Hello and welcome to the video tutorial on working with groups for the ePanic uh, server system. Uh, groups essentially are ways you can organize users so they all get the same buttons or a way that you could assign a group of people um, to receive an alert. So for instance let's say you have um, an art department you can create an art building group and everyone in there would get the same buttons and then conversely if you have an emergency message and you want to assign it to go to everyone in the art building then you can just assign it to the art group. In this example here we only have uh, one group, the default group. Please note that this term department is just for your reference. So all of these uh, terms in here, art, security, accounting, and security under the user department just is for your reference. The system basically just listens to and looks at the group for making decisions. Let's talk about making a group. Um, you click on the groups tab as I noted before we just have one group the default group and then every new user will go into the default group unless it's assigned to a different um, unless it's assigned to a group that you configure so you click on the add button let's raise that up and now I'm going to create something called the security team this is security and now with the IP range, if it truly um, is a group that's in a certain building, you can define the IP range. You can enter it here, and then everyone who launches will go into that group if they're within that IP range. That works really well for, let's say, certain offices uh, where you know um, you have a group of people that you want to have the same, um, you want to go into the same group, and they're and they happen to be within the same IP range. You do not want this to be the default group because we already have one, but we do give you that option. And then we want to name its default node for this security team group. So naturally, we'll just call it uh, security node. And this is security. A lot of these things are just for your reference. It may indeed also ask you for a MAC address. And because this is not a real computer, we can just make something up. All right. The command check interval is something you do have to enter, and um, that tells you how often the program is going to be checking the system uh, for if there's um, any new commands. So everyone in this group, every 60 minutes, will be checking the server if there's any new commands or any new settings. Um, the one thing that I do suggest always is enabling a refresh profile, refresh enabled, so that the end user can always on demand get the latest. Um, latest settings just by uh, right clicking the icon and selecting refresh profile. Well we've created uh, the new group security team and obviously there's it's a sort of a fake IP range so you can manually put people into the security team however again if that was a real IP range then you would be able to launch an, a client at a workstation and it would grab its IP address and see what range it belongs to if it falls within a certain group that user would automatically be put in there. Um, one note, if you have existing users that are in a certain IP range, it will not automatically put them into that group unless you move them, just as I'm going to uh, show you right here. You uh, click on users, and I created a group called the security group. And so what I'm going to do is um, find our security guys. And we have two folks. We've got uh, Sasha and Johnny are both on the security team and we want to move them into the security group. So we click replace to group. This window pops up. You get a drop down menu of your possible groups. You process it. It asks for a confirmation and then it'll be moving over. And there we go. And now if you notice um, uh, Sasha and John Lee are now in the security teams and we're going to have the security team buttons and you can also assign any alerts going just to the security team and both the two users will receive that. Great. If you have any questions please contact us.